Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we will be removing and reinstalling an ignition switch in a 2009 Chevy Suburban. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're going to disconnect the battery. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter wrench. We're going to disconnect the negative post on the battery. Just loosen this up a little bit. And I can grab it and wiggle it back and forth. I can take it and put it up, tuck it out of the way. Pull this cover off, grab two fingers underneath and pull. And pull this cover off with a Phillips head screw right here. The retainer holder for this cover is broken. Just to let you know. So I'll take this screw out over here. And then there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. You're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. Pull this bolt out. Pull that out. And this slides back, and pulls out. There's two little grooves right there. I'm going to grab this and just pull straight forward. Some of these clips are broken. Those are the retainers that hold it. I'm going to pull this adjuster lever off for the steering wheel adjuster. Just pull it straight out. You can use a screwdriver if you need to. Next, I'm going to grab on this cover and pull it straight down. Sometimes there's screws that hold the cover up. This one does not have screws. I'm gonna pull the cover down here. I'm gonna move the steering wheel down, pushing on the adjuster. And we're gonna push up on this cover, pull out the front a little bit, and then this will come off. Pull that out. And we're gonna take this boot I'm going to slide it up like that. Now I'm going to disconnect this connector right here that's connected to this orange wire. I'm going to push on the, the connector and pull out. And I'm going to feed this wire back this way. I'm going to pull this ignition cylinder out. I'm going to put the key in. I'm going to use a little Allen and I can push down in this hole once I rotate the key. So rotate the key to the crank position and push down and that releases it. And I can let the key go and then pull, wiggle it back and forth. I'm going to disconnect the connector to the theft control module. Just push this little tab. I'm going to pull this wire out. Use a little pick, push down, and pull that out. And I can use another right angle pick and on the back side here. There's little clips that hold this on. I'll pull it straight out. There's the little clips. Put the right angle pick behind those. And you can pull it straight out. All right, so the ignition switch, I disconnect the connector. I'm gonna pull this red lock out. I'm gonna use a pick. There we go. So pull that red tab out like that. We can push right here. 
pull the connector out. Pull that aside. So you're gonna take your pick and back here on the inside of this, you're gonna push this in and clip it and then twist and pull this up. What I was doing was on this side, there's a little lock. So you're gonna push that lock in and that will release it so you can spin it free. Then we're gonna pull the ignition switch out. Um, they do make a special tool for this, but you can just use a pick. I'm gonna go on this side and push that down. Go on this side and push this down. And there's your ignition switch. We're gonna reuse our ignition switch, but if you're replacing your ignition switch, you wanna make sure when you get the new one, generally this gear selector is all the way over in that position. So what you're gonna wanna do when it's in that position, take a large screwdriver, go in this hole. I'm gonna go to the left all the way till it stops. Then that will make these gears line up properly. We can slide the ignition switch back in like so. And we can take our screwdriver again Slide it in there, push it down. We're gonna go all the way like you're starting it, the spring tension, and then you're gonna let up. And then we're gonna pull this out. That will make it so our lock cylinder will go in at the right position. Now we're gonna reinstall this. We're gonna slip it in the hole and then twist it. Just like that, and then it's locked in. Now we're gonna reconnect our connector right here. Line it up. Push it in to the locks and then push the little red lock in. That's good. Okay, we're gonna reinstall our theft module. Just line it up here. Like this, you know, push it down. I'm gonna take the connector, plug the connector back in. And we're gonna take our ignition cylinder with our key in it. And we're gonna line this little tab up with that little groove right there. Push that in. Turn it back and pull it out. Now we're gonna put this upper cover back on. Take this boot, slide it down, and slide it over the cover so that lines up in that channel. Like that. And this will go down here. that down like that. So then I'll slip that up. Take the lower cover. Slide this in this shifter boot groove. Like that. Lock it in place. In. Good. I'm gonna reinstall this lever like that. And take this lower shield, install this. You have the clips right there and right there. There should be one right there. 
Line that up. Push it on. And take the parking release lever with these little grooves. It's gonna slide up and then slide forward. And then take the 10 millimeter bolt, the socket, the extension. Install it in the hole and tighten it up. Snug that up. Take our Phillips head screw and install it right here with a Phillips head screwdriver. Take this Phillips head screw and stick it right here. The bracket is broken off this panel. So. And we're gonna put this cover on. Like that. Now we're gonna connect the battery. We're gonna reconnect our battery. Grab the negative cable, hook it back up. All right. Now I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter wrench to tighten down the nut. Not too tight. You don't wanna break the terminal. Tight it and check it, make sure it doesn't wiggle. Seems good. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.